All right, guys, welcome back to another segment. Not that we normally do it. I'm always there to give you guys updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Yes, I'm very sorry for coming late. I, I, I already told you guys now that uh, I'm not in the studio. I'm very far from the studio. So definitely getting quick updates will take time. But from tomorrow, things will change because I'll be back to base. Yes, Chelsea won for him today. 1-0 from first half. <laughs> Nine minutes penalty. Nine minutes penalty. Nine minutes penalty. But it was a high intense game. Pressure. If you watch this, if you if you sit down and watch this match, you get mind. Because me, I stand. I stand one corner. They look and like this. Gary, I go watch the match. Rich, I go come out. Come to his live score. They check the time. Made it in. They run fast. That was how the game was. It was not easy. Imagine for one way hook Arsenal last year. Their last game, Arsenal last game, that was la last game for last year, was Fulham. They hook Arsenal 2 1. Who could they wear? You can't be say Chelsea. Ah, I'm very happy that we secured the three point. Oh, I'm very, very happy that three points was very important. We needed that three points, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, at some, some, some hours ago, we were eighth position, but right now we are ninth position because Newcastle is beating. And Man City, you understand, but the game never ends, it never ends because Man City, too, the 50 shock us, the 50 beat Newcastle, to all the match end draw. We go back to where I was supposed to be. You get me because Newcastle have 29 points. If they draw with Man City, they'll be having 30 points, so we'll still top them. You understand, so there is hope, except Newcastle, except Man City decide to fall back for Newcastle. But talking about the match today, um. Um, talking about the formation, it was not that bad though. It was not that bad. And Galaga played his normal this thing. Then if you watch today, Enzo have to return. Enzo played at a very deep midfield today. And if you watch, he was fully involved in today's game. And that, when I saw somebody typed at the comment section that Enzo say no understand Enzo. Is it today own? Make I tell you my truth. Enzo was fully involved. Both the defender, both the attack, both the midfield, he was just there. The midfield was just all right. You understand? And again, talking about the referee, the only good thing we had to tell or do for us to be say, he didn't give us penalty, still no give us red card. Because tell me how players go, how, tell me how Chelsea go get five yellow cards for one game. Five! Five yellow cards, how? Please, they need to work in that area. They need to, they, they, are, they are disciplined nature. They need to work on that side. Ah, out of 11 players for pitch, five, they get yellow card. You know, you know, sound where now, you know, go where. You know, go where. You understand? You know, go where. As for Broja, well, um, he tried, he tried, though he missed some chances too. I'm telling you, it's normal thing. They always want to drive. But the only good thing we do for me today is that penalty we ain't create. Now that penalty we ain't create. Else, the boys tried their best today. It was not an easy game. And again, good one to Petrovic. See that save. See that save. Oh, God. You should say Sanchez. This boy go allow Sanchez come back. You should say space day for Sanchez. Even the Kepa is a balaga safe. I'm not sure if Real Madrid will sign Kepa. I'm not sure because if Sanchez now, nah, this Petrovic with the way things they go be like Petrovic, he Ben Sanchez. And if Kepa join them next next season, I'm not sure whether Kepa self will even see space. So well, um, that was a good one by um Petrovic. It's not that I'm hyping him now, but we will give him credit. We will give him credit. He do well. You understand? I'm not trying to be biased here. But the only issue where I get with this game today now that changes way Porsche make. That change we make was very, very poor. You understand? You they you 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 see say Kobe. I know say Kobe try for that left wing back today. You understand? He played very well today. But even at that, even at that, you know go feel bringing Ben Chiwe to come they play as a winger. Who they do that kind of changes now? If they come on winger, they play defender, come put them as a winger. Who does that? Who does that? Well, I know see everything that just they try to one manage in player based on the rates at which in players that they go injury. I understand that area, but please move just take him as if say you just want to give Benchy time today, make him play. But
but bringing him or playing him as a winger is a no no. In start time this season, even when they play Ben Chiwe as winger with just a close mouth, he not be say Chiwe go injury before we come to see Mudrik. Come to think of it, Mudrik was, on, was, 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 was fit today to play. Why you no play him? You can't they play Chiwe as winger. Ha! <laughs> Pochettino. This is Chelsea, oh. This is Chelsea. <laughs> we need to waste time. Just play your team. Do your team. Make sure you get winning. Else, if you don't get winning, you feel no day with us. This is in end. If you know day with us, this is in end. But I'm very, very happy that we got the the three points. That's the most important thing. Because every time I talk here, right now, everybody goes sit up and say, Mr. Peter, forget. The most important thing is that we got the three points. But I'm just trying to give credit to to those of them that deserve those credits. Then Tiago Siva, Siva, Baba na Baba. That one they need to come out and from him. You see that last man movement. If to say that guy been passive, no problem. No problem. Gusto, Malo Gusto tried to leave the yellow card when he gets fine. He tried. He was fully involved. He tried very well. All of them give, they, they, they really, I see that Omona must win. We just have to win this game, no matter what. That was what I saw today. I don't know for anybody that watched the game, but that is what I saw today. It was a must win game. We just have to win this game for, for, for the fans. Knowing fully well, we lost our last game. And again, for those of you that predicted that Kopama will score, that was a good prediction because I know a lot of people that say that Kopama will score. That boy has been doing wonders. He has been doing wonders. I know, say, you see all these young, young talents who will sign you for our team. Now we need to enjoy them because they see they're young. They never understand the league. They never understand the club. And they never understand waiting with the expect from them. But give them time. I still believe, say, with time. You see all these guys, they wait they like this. <laughs> I know sure, say, team, go like to one play Chelsea when that time come. When that time come. When I watched the game against Man City that we played 4-4, that was where I know that. <laughs> it's not going to be funny if these boys are ready. You understand? So, um, I'm very happy that we won. Um, in respect of the fact that we won, does not mean that they should slack. They should use next week, put themselves together, because we have the Carabao Cup second leg to play against Middlesbrough. They should make us proud. They should go to the final. That is what we want. That is what we want from them. No dulling. So, guys... That will be all. And also, I know that some people are wishing Manchester United bad luck tomorrow. Some of them, they wish they made them lose tomorrow against Tottenham. Well, you know, I know they wish they may, whether they win, they no, they no win, no concern. My mom say we don't secure three points. Made them then to they secure the three points. As it stands now, any Man U fans who want to bet with me say just need a top there, make him come. Just the top owner with a top Man U. Come and argue with me with a top owner. Yes, we are topping Manchester United. Come and argue. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, don't forget to like, drop your thoughts and your concern. Um, get some things where I feel no talk, where you see. Drop on for comment section. Thank you very much. My name is Peters. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone.